guys, Anna and I are here. We're going to lead you through a bar workout today, focusing on muscular endurance. So very high rep, low weight. That's how you build those beautiful long lean muscles without having to lift super heavy weights. So this workout does involve a lot of flexion at the knee joint. So if you have any hip, knee, joint considerations, it might be one to skip. We'll provide some modifications, but it's just up to you to know to modify and honor your body. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with our workout. We're gonna have hands on our hips, Drop your shoulders, lift up your chest, and we're gonna march it out. So just go right and left, right and left. Beautiful, so think about getting those knees nice and high. Point your toes, keep those shoulders down. Take some deep breaths, get some oxygen to those muscles. Beautiful, so use your core to lift your legs. Every time a leg comes up, you exhale, exhale. Good, nice, deep breaths. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Good, nice and high. And we're gonna add some arms. We're gonna press them forward and press, press. Perfect, so really squeeze your chest all the way out. Keep that nice point in your toes. And if you can, maybe legs up a little bit higher. Great job warming up those legs. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press them overhead, we lift, lift. Great job. So take some deep breaths. Second to last thing, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, arms stay nice and high. So lift them up, still marching it out. This is where we finish it out. So get those legs up as high as you can. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Give a little shake, we warmed up a little. Yep, yeah, up. we're good, okay. So we're gonna move it into calves. So glue those heels together. And we are doing a bar inspired workout today. Notice we're not using a bar. <laughs> so you can do this anywhere. You can also hold on to a wall if you ever need some balance. So hands to our hips. We're gonna come up into a calf raise. So onto those toes and lower all the way down. So exhale, inhale. Perfect, so try to make these as smooth as possible. Really pressing into those big toes, working those calves. And think about squeezing your glutes to get to your highest point. Awesome job. Let's do five more. Here's four, three, two. Now hold your highest point. Tiny pulses right here. So about a half inch movement. Really squeeze that booty, keep your core engaged, keep those shoulders relaxed. Awesome job, get up there. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, static hold to finish, hold it at the top. Maybe one or both arms up overhead. Drop those shoulders. Eight seconds to get to your highest point. There we go, up one more inch. Here's four, three, two, and release it. So we're gonna give it a little shake. I'm already tired. Are you? <laughs> That's awesome, I am too. Yeah, hopefully your legs are awake now, ready to go. So we're gonna come into a curtsy lunge. So hands will come to our hips, and you're gonna make a little V with your feet. So from here, take that left leg, for us it'll be our right leg, totally behind your opposite leg. Perfect, so for you guys, your left heel is gonna be right behind that right shoulder. Make sure to keep both shoulders pointing forward and drop down to your lowest point. So right here in a curtsy lunge, looking good, perfect. So come all the way up and all the way down. So we lift and lower. Great job, so take some nice deep breaths. And your goal is to get a nice full range. So think about really squeezing all the way up to the top. And every time you come down, try to go a little bit lower. Beautiful job. Let's do five more. Here's four, three, two. Now hold your lowest point. Hold it low, tiny little drops. And drop, drop. I love the pulse. I do. <laughs> love that pulse. <laughs> Awesome, so any leg series that you do, you wanna hit that shaky point with your legs. So once your legs start to shake, that's your muscles fatiguing, that's how they learn to grow back stronger. So embrace the shake, don't be afraid of it. Good, let's think it one more inch. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. Now straighten the back leg and bend. Tiny straighten, tiny bend. Perfect, so think about there was a wall behind you, like you're tapping it with your heel and then squeezing to come back through center. Every time that heel goes back, you exhale. Got a nice deep breath. 
Great job, friends. If you can, sink it down a little bit lower. Here's five. There's four. Three. Two. And come on up. So come on up. So we're going to step it out to your left side. Foot comes out. And then we're going to curtsy lunge on the opposite side. And then step out. And then curtsy lunge again. So we're moving quick little curtsy lunges side to side. We're going to get that heart rate up just a little bit. So when I say go, we have 20 seconds option to add in a little hop or maybe reach down towards the floor. Get ready. We go in three, two, let's go friends. 20 seconds on the clock to get that heart rate up. Just adding in some cardio. Keep your chest lifted. You can move slow and controlled with and add a hop, touch the floor. Only five seconds left, you got it. Here's three, two, and release it. Give it a little shake. Lay that heart rate is up. Let's do the other side. We're gonna set that right leg behind this time. Heel is right behind that left shoulder. Sink down to your lowest point. Shoulders are square. All the way up, all the way down. Perfect, so use this as your recovery. Take some deep breaths. How are you doing, friend? Good. You good? I'm You're doing awesome. <laughs> and ran a marathon last week, too. So her legs are already probably like, what is happening? Great job. Take some deep breaths. There's five. There's four. Three. So you really squeeze all the way up. Hold your lowest point. Tiny drops. We drop. Drop. Perfect. So two inch movement. Keep that upper body nice and relaxed. Core is still nice and tight. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it low. Straighten the back leg. Bend, tiny straight and tiny bend. Where we finish out this set, every time that heel goes out, you exhale. Good, exhale. Here's eight, drop it one inch if you can. There's five, four, three, two, and release it. Give it a little shake. <laughs> the burn is real. All right, so we're gonna take it into another little cardio drill. Get that heart rate up. So we're gonna step our right foot back, tap that right hand to the floor, and then you're gonna bring that knee up through center. Good, right here. So we tap the floor, exhale, lift. So you have a couple options right here. You can come up onto your toe as you rise, or when I say go, that 20 second interval, you can add a little hop at the top, or just move faster. Fire up that heart rate, get ready. We go in three. Two, let's do it friends. Power up, 20 seconds, that's it. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Great job, nice and quick. Nice control. Beautiful, you got five seconds left. Here's four, three, two, and release it. Give it a little shake. So we're gonna come down into a plank position. Good, and just take some deep breaths. So for your plank, a couple options. You can stay here in full plank. You can drop your knees down to the floor. If you drop to that modified plank, make sure you tuck and squeeze your glutes. For any of my expecting mama friends, you can always modify your plank against a wall right here. So it's not so much force down on that core. 10 seconds, squeeze those hands towards those ankles. Here's five, three, two, come on up. Roll it up. We're gonna take that cardio drill on the other side, okay? All right, friends, so same thing. Tap that left toe behind, left hand to the floor. Come on up into that little passe. And same thing, option to rise up onto your toe. Or when I say go, add that little hop. I know it is. And this side feels way harder than the other side. It does feel hard. Yeah. So do what you can. <laughs> We go in five, there's three, two, let's go friends, 20 seconds. That's it, power up. Get that heart rate going, big exhale at the top. Beautiful job, you're halfway there. 10 seconds left. Here's three, two, and release it. Oh, give it a little shake. 
we're gonna take a nice wide second position. So feet are wide, toes are angled out, and drop your hips down nice and low. So for this one, you wanna make sure your knees are going towards your toes, but not past your toes. Nice wide stance, looking good, friend. Keep those hips underneath your torso. So anytime we sit down into a squat, it's tempting to let that low back arch, keep everything pulled down. Good, we're just starting this party. Right here is a nice static hold. So take some deep breaths, sink it down if you can. Beautiful job, relax those shoulders. Keep that belly button pulled up and in. Here's five, four, three, two, little drop, and drop, drop, drop. Perfect, so you can always take this range of motion a little bit smaller or challenge option. Even if you wanna hold on to something, will be to lift your heels off the floor. And that'll make things a little more exciting. Great job, sink it nice and low. You've got 10 seconds right here, breathe. Here's five, four, three, two, hold it low. Lift that right heel off the floor. Little drop, and drop, drop. Great job, keep those hips low. Goal is to get them, those thighs parallel to the floor if you can. If you have tight adductors like I do, just go as low as you can. That chest lifted. Here's five, four, three, two, switch sides. Left heel off the floor. And really think about squeezing as you lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. Both heels off the floor. 10 seconds to creep those hips down. Get those heels up. Awesome, challenge yourself. Here's five, four, three, two, and release it. Oh, give it a little shake. We're gonna take it into our last standing cardio drill. So feet are gonna be wide one last time. Gonna touch the floor, keep that chest lifted. And then we're gonna come on up through center. So nice and low, and we lift. And we have a big surprise when I say go. 20 seconds, what are we gonna do? Guess this one? <laughs> Jump or move faster. That's right. So option to come onto those toes. You don't have to jump. Option to add that little hop at the top. Get ready. We go in three, two. Let's go, friends. Power up. Get that heart rate up. Reach up towards the ceiling and land with a nice soft knee before you sink down. Great job. Halfway there. Maybe move a little faster. Maybe get up a little higher. Here's five, four, three, two, and release it. Give it a shake. Awesome job. Let's move down to the floor. So go ahead and come on down. And so for this one, we're gonna be on our knees. So if you already know, I don't like to be on my knees. It doesn't work for me. No worries, you're gonna come onto your seat, extend those legs, and just do some leg lifts. On one side, switch to the other side. If you're okay on your knees, you're gonna meet me right here. Knees are gonna be right underneath those hip bones. Awesome, Anne's gonna do that modification. So knees under those hips, chest lifted, and we're just gonna bring our hands to a prayer position. We're gonna come back for two, and lift for two. Good, so take an inhale, to go back, exhale to rise. I'm gonna show you from the side for a second. Keep going. Your goal is to keep this whole, your ear, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, in one straight line. Then and come back as low as you can. Obviously working those quads and also those deep core muscles. There's five, there's four, there's three, good, two. Now hold that lowest point. Take some deep breaths, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Here's five, four, three, two. Take it back one inch. You have two more. Here's five, four, three, two. Back one inch. Let's go. Five, four, three. Last one. Take it back one inch. Hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Awesome job. So you can stretch out those quads either by lying on your side right here or you can bring your knees wide, reach back, stretch up those claws. Make sure you do both sides. 
It's like a nice little hug after what we just did. Just quads. Beautiful. And from here, we're gonna transition onto our backs. Are you ready? And go like this way. Perfect. So for this one, our feet are gonna be nice and wide. So go ahead and step those feet out, angle your toes out, really press those shoulders down into the floor. And as you exhale, squeeze your glutes up to your highest point. So glutes are up nice and high. Good, and from here, we're gonna do tiny little tucks. We tuck, tuck. Perfect, so really think about keeping that belly button pulled up and in. Keep that upper back pressing into the floor. Beautiful, so you can stay right here. A couple of ways to make this more challenging. You can grab some dumbbells, cross them at your hip bones, or my favorite way to make this more exciting is just to peel my toes off the floor, and that emphasis will go straight to your glutes. Good, keep it nice and high. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna go halfway down and lift. Halfway down and lift. So you inhale, exhale. Good, so keeping that distance between the floor, not tapping the floor just yet. Great job working those glutes, working those booties. Here's five, there's four, three, two. Let's go full range. So we tap the floor and lift. So you inhale, exhale. Perfect, a nice full range. Think about pressing those hip bones up into the ceiling. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Find your highest point. Hold it there, now flare your knees. Flare, so pressing those knees away. Every time they come out, you exhale. Don't let those hips fall down. Keep them pressing up towards the ceiling. Here's eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and release it. Lower down, hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll yourself up to a seated position. And we're gonna take it into just a little bit of core. So for this one, feet are gonna be nice and wide. Hands are gonna come behind your thighs. Drop your shoulders, lift up your chest, and we're just gonna lean it back until you feel your core start to kick in. So once you feel it kick in, hands can come into a prayer position in front of you or out to the side. So go where you need to go, I'll do prayer position. We're just gonna come up an inch and back an inch. Good, so every time you come up, you're exhaling. And anytime we do any type of crunching movement, the body wants to push everything out. So I want you to think about doing the opposite. So every time you come up, think about pulling everything in as you exhale. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold that lowest point, twist it right and left, right and left. Perfect, take a nice deep breath. How are you doing, friend? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> are you sweating too? No, I'm sweating. Okay, good, <laughs> just making sure. Here's five, there's four, three, two. Now hold it on your right side, little twist back, twist and twist, right. twist, yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're backwards up here. Good job, lean it back there if you can, and picture your core like a washcloth, really wring it out as you twist. Here's five, four, three, two, switching sides, twist it back, tiny twist, and twist. Same thing, really pulling that core in, reaching that elbow or those arms really forward as you twist. Here's five, four, three, two, take it to the center, a little lift, and lift. Second to last thing right here. So change something, maybe change your arms, maybe lean it back a little bit farther. Here's five, four, three, two, static hold, hold it low, maybe float those feet off the floor. Eight seconds to find that shaky challenge point, let's see it. Here's four, three, two, and release it. So place those hands right behind your back, lift up your chest, drop your shoulders, feel that nice stretch in the front of your abdominals right there. Beautiful. Thanks so much for sweating with us. Hope you got a great workout. And remember, you can always repeat this one to make it longer or combine it with any of the other winter shape-up workouts. We'll see you later. Great job.